This is my background music Cause I don't wanna get copyrighted So I made more shit to this beat Kinda land low key but join the team Subscribe, subscribe What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello. Today's video I just thought I would tell you guys a story time Um, let you know a little bit more about my life. I go through a lot of stuff in my life that is pretty crazy um maybe i'll do more story times of my life and stuff i'm gonna be telling you guys the time um where i got caught well did i get caught no my mama knew as the time where my nana which is my grandma um caught me with my first tattoo so if this is something you would like to hear or watch whatever um keep watching <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new if you're not what's good what's gucci we lit or whatever and uh, turn on my post notifications so you never miss when i upload who knows if youtube even notifies you but why do you still have the bell if you don't notify people come on now you follow me on all my other social media accounts are down below open the description all right so let's just get straight into the story so back story on my first tattoo i'm gonna show you guys my first tattoo um it's like this little music note i might as well just show you guys now this is my first tattoo it's a little music note and i got it right there purposely because um i didn't want my dad to know <laughs> um, i didn't want my nana to find out i didn't want anybody to know like i didn't want to be visible but yeah so that was my first tattoo ever i kind of just wanted something really small don't know why i got a music note like i don't do anything that involves music i honestly just wanted to feel what a tattoo felt like like and that was like the smallest thing I could think of so yeah that's that's what happened that's what I got but let's just get into the day where I got the tattoo so I was 15 I think yeah I was 15 I have permission by my mother okay um, she said it was like a 16th birthday present, but I just had turned 15, so I don't know how that makes sense. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, I didn't go to a shop or anything because the guy who my mom knew that did, like, my sister's tattoos, my mom's tattoos, everybody. He used to work in a shop, but he was my mom's friend. I think he kind of liked my mom, but he used to come over to our house and just, like, tat everybody. So, he came over one day. Um, I think my older sister was getting a tattoo. And who was there? I know it was DJ, my cousin Dante... And DJ's best friend. I think it was just us three, four. Um, and we were just talking about it. And I was like, I'm going to ask my mom if I can get a tattoo. And they were like, nah, she's not going to let you. Um, like, you scary. You're not going to get it. Everybody was calling me scary. And I was like, I'm not scary. Like, I'm going to get it. <laughs> so that's really why I wanted to get it because everybody was calling me scary. And at first I was like, nah, I'm not going to get it because whatever it hurt. But I want to get it just to see what it feels like because everybody's like, Oh my god, tattoos hurt so bad. So, we are all sitting in my room trying to make up this master plan on how I'm going to ask my mom if I can get one. My cousin actually got his first tattoo, Dante, when he was 14, because we're a year apart. So yeah, he got his tattoo when he was 14. He got one right here of his mom's name. And my mom at first, she was like, yeah, you can get one if you're going to get my name. And I was like, girl, no. I didn't want anybody's name on me. And I was like, girl, no. Like, I'm not going to get your name. Um, I'm not going to get my dad's name. I'm not going to get nobody's name. Like, I just want something small so I can feel it. So we are like, all right, let's go act. So he asked as my mom, like, auntie, can I get a tattoo? Dante, he was like, auntie, can I get a tattoo? All this other stuff. She like, boy, no. Like, you're 14. Like, I'm not somebody who says, like, yeah, you can get a tattoo. So she was like, go ask your mom. So he goes, ask my auntie. And she turns out and says, yeah. So I asked my mom, like, oh, well, can I get a tattoo? And, like, me, I was, like, the, like a quiet child. I'm, like, well-behaved. I didn't do no sneaky stuff when I was little. Like, I wasn't bad. So me asking for a tattoo, my mom was kind of taken back. And she was like, you're not going to get a tattoo. Like, you a punk. And I was like... Oh, I'm a punk. All right. All right. So after she said that, I told you, they like, she said I'm a punk. Like, she didn't say I can't get it, but she didn't say I can. But she just called me a punk, and she was like, I ain't going to get it. So he was like, nah, you scary. You are scary. You're not going to get it. So everybody called me scary. He made me want to get it more. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. So I went in the room, and I told my mom, I was like, no, I told the tattoo guy. I was like, hey, can you give me a tattoo? Like, I'm, I'm going to get one. So my mom was like, wait a minute. Where are you going to get it? Let me see. What is it? How big? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's not going to be visible. So that's why she was like, all right, whatever. And she was like, just consider it your birthday present, like your 16th birthday present. And I was like, all right. So I got a tattoo. I got that one. Um, at first, I wanted it purple because he had purple ink, but the purple wasn't showing up on me. So then he did like green ink. So now it's like a faded ass black. <laughs> but that's that. So I got that. Now let's get into the story where 
I got caught. So that was like when I was 15, okay? I got a tattoo when I was 15. I didn't get caught with it until I was like 17. Like, at this point, I'm basically grown. So it doesn't, like, what? Why? I was basically grown. So the only person who knew I did have a tattoo was like my um, immediate family that lived in the house with me because we all lived in this big ass house. It was me, my mom, my sisters, my granny, which my mom's mom, my auntie, my cousin. Like we all lived in this big ass house. So they're the only people who knew like we had tattoos, you know, and my mom. So my nana didn't know, my dad didn't know, like nobody else knew but my house. <laughs> One morning, um, this was after, after my dad had died because I lived with my dad. I was gonna be going, like starting my senior year with him. And then he died that summer. <laughs> I was placed with my nana so i went to her house um i started like at this college prep school or whatever in la like we had to wear uniforms right so exactly like what uniforms high school senior year i'm in a uniform i was pissed off y'all like pissed off so one morning i'm like you know getting dressed and i was in the mirror in her dining room because she has like a mirror wall in her dining room so I was in the dining room, like doing my hair. You have to like lift up, you know, to comb your hair. So I'm lifting up, comb my hair. And I had my pants on and I had my uniform shirt on, but it wasn't tucked in yet. So like my shirt kind of raised up a little bit, I guess. And my hand is a very nosy person. <laughs> I guess she was just looking at me in like detail. And she, you know what's crazy? I don't know how she's seen it because she literally, like how my pants go up. If I don't pull my pants all the way up, you can only see like the very tip of it. Let me show y'all how much was out, okay? This is how much of my tattoo was showing. Y'all see that? That much. She hit the corner and she was like staring at me doing my hair. And I'm already sitting there like, why is she just staring at me doing my hair? And I was like trying to like engage in conversation with her. And then she was like, is that a tattoo? And I was like, what? No. <laughs> like, I was doing my hair. I was like, what? No. And I, like, left, right? And I went in the room. Bitch, I got in that room heart racing. I was like, bro. What? Like, how did she see? Because, like, I didn't, like, adjust myself and stuff when I went in the room. So I went in the room. I looked down. And I seen it was on, like, this much showing. So I was like, what? Like, how the did she see this? Like, damn. Why are you looking at me so hard? <laughs> Yo, I was like so mad and I was like fuck like shit like what am I gonna say and I tried to go in there I tried to put some foundation on it. It wasn't working. <laughs> it wasn't my color. It was still there You could see it. So I was like bro like I don't know what I'm gonna do So I went back in there because I didn't want to be too obvious like damn She just caught me type of shit, but I was like damn like she just caught me I went back in there. I was tucking in my shirt and she was like let me see. Is that a tattoo? And I was like, no, it's not. It's a scar. <laughs> she was like, that is not a scar, Deja. And I was like, yes, it is. And she was like, tell me the truth. Is that a tattoo? And I was like, yeah, it is. And she was like, well, let me see. What is it? And I showed her like what it was or whatever. And she was like, did your dad know you had that? And I was like, no, I guess I don't know like by my dad not knowing that I had a tattoo made her feel a little bit I don't know like once I told like she was really mad and once I told her like no my dad didn't know like only my mom knew because I was in her presence when I got it um she got less mad she was like uh, oh okay like I don't care and then she asked me when I got it and I told her she got mad again and then she was like well did you go to a shop and I told her no and she got mad again and I was like well the dude is like a professional tattoo artist like he does work at a shop, but he just came to my house this particular day. So I don't know. She got mad all again, all over again. Um, and then we got in the car. She drove me to school. After school, she didn't really say anything about it. And that was like the last time she kind of brought it up. And then, you know, I started getting more tats. Like I'm tatted. Ah, not tatted at all. I want to get like a big ass back piece, y'all. That's going to be my next tattoo. And I want to get my thigh done. So yeah, that was the time she caught me with a tattoo. And how I got my first tattoo, when I got my first tattoo. Um, so yeah, I got my first tattoo when I was 15. She caught me at 17. She found out. She didn't catch me. I met you, you grown. She found out about my tattoo when I was 17. <laughs> and um, I was kind of scared like honestly i was kind of scared um i told my mom later on like damn nan found out and everybody thought it was funny <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, that's the story. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below your first tattoo, how old you were. Do you regret it? Like, I regret it because every tattoo that I do have, other than my first tattoo in this little weird, can y'all see what this is? I don't know what this is. Like, what is this? Is the only tattoos that I regret getting because they don't have a meaning behind it. Like every tattoo that, I, that I've that i gotten to me means something. And it just like irritates me that like that and this doesn't mean anything, but I guess it's right here. So they're kind of cute, I guess. Um, so yeah, those are the ones I regret getting, honestly. Um, so let me know down below if you regret getting any tattoos you got and why. And what was your first tattoo and how old you were. Um, so yeah, let's have a discussion down below. If you made this far and you're not yet subscribed, why? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Subscribe or whatever. <laughs> and on that note.